G'day guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install our fire wrap insulation system for duct work. We'll be looking at how to put the fire wrap onto a duct, your general strapping principles, as well as where the duct passes through fire weighted walls and floors. All of the steps in today's video are going to be coming straight out of the fire wrap technical manual, which is available on our website. Now for today's install, I'll run you through the tools that you're going to need. We're going to need a drill with the Phillips head screw bit and a pilot drill. We need some fire flex sealant and we'll be using eight gauge plasterboard screws and we're simulating a plasterboard wall installation. We've got the demo rig set up here. We're gonna be simulating a duct passing through a fire rated plasterboard wall. And what I'll show you is how to do the wall penetration details to maintain the fire rating of both the duct that's wrapped with fire wrap and the wall itself. For the installation, once the duct's been run, is we need to put some steel angles around the perimeter of the duct. But before we do that, we need to pack it out with loose bits of the fire wrap material. So you just simply grab out some of the material and pack it into the penetration. Now that the fire wrap material has been pushed into the annular gap around the duct, we're going to grab our sealant and put a bead of sealant across the top. Now packing out the annular gaps around the duct is essential to stop hot gases from sneaking through to maintain the penetration. The next step is to install the steel angles. The spec of the steel angles will be clearly written out inside the fire up tech manual. The ones we're using here today is to suit a 600 by 600 duct going through a plasterboard wall. Now what we've done here is we put screws in a 200 millimeter centers, eight gauge by 50 mil plasterboard screws and eight gauge uh, tech screws into the steel duct. You can also use steel rivets. Now that the steel angles are installed around all the outside perimeter of the duct, both sides of the wall, we can install our Maxillite strips. The Maxillite is a calcium silicate board. It's a very high performance fire rated material. And what it does around the outside of the duct is form a collar, which prevents heat transfer coming through. Now, the first thing I like to do when I'm installing Maxillite strips is cut them, pre-drill them, um, so the screws go in nice and neat. So when pre-drilling Maxillite for this application, try and make sure you're not gonna run into the metal angle. So offset them towards the edge of the Maxillite. Not too close to the edge of the Maxillite or you will chip it off. About 20, 25 mil off the edge is perfect. Now that the Maxillite strips are installed around all the perimeter of the duct, we're going to fill up the gaps that are formed with our Fireflex sealant. Okay, now that I've got the sealant all the way around the duct, I'm just going to push it into the gaps using a bit of cardboard. Now that we've got the Maxillite perimeter around the outside, it's time to wrap the duct. Now I've got our fire wrap here. Um, the way you measure this out is you take the outside perimeter of the duct all the way around and you add an extra 100 mil allowance for an overlap. I've got one that's already pre-cut here and I'll show you the few ways that you can install the fire wrap onto a duct. The first one is using pins and a pin welder. The second one is using metal straps. I'm gonna show you both options here. When it comes to the pins, you can pin any size duct you want up to the allowable size of 3.6 by 3.6 meters. Where you've got straps, you can strap ducts up to 600 by 600 mil. So I've got the wrap in place. You can hold it in with some tape while you're installing the wrap. We can even strap it in place if it's a big duct while you're pinning it. Now you're gonna to wanna to use the one and a half inch size pins. Now when it comes to installing the pins, you wanna measure out a grid of 200 mil sensors. Now there are instances where you will have two layers of wrap, for instance, around the wall penetration. So when they occur, you can use the longer length of pins, which are about 75 millimeters. The other method of fixing a fire wrap to a duct is by using these steel straps. They've got to be 12 millimeters wide. You strap them around the duct and crimp them in place. Now these can only be used on ducts up to 600 by 600. Um, if you go over ducts up to 600 by 1200, you can use the straps, but you do need to pin the underside to stop the wrap from sagging down.
Now, when you're installing steel straps onto a fire apt duct, you're gonna make sure they're at least 265 centimeters apart. You also want them 40 mil away from any of the wall penetrations with an extra run on top of any overlaps. And when you're tensioning the strap, you wanna make it tight enough that it's gonna hold the wrap in place, but not too tight that it'll cut the wrap. So a good five, 10 mil compression is ideal. The last thing you do is crimp off the strap. And that's all you have to do to fix the fire wrap in place. As you move along the duct, you'll be overlapping the existing sections by 100 mil and then taping over the joints. Now that the first layer of duct is complete along the entire length, uh, when you have wall penetrations, you will need a second layer of duct locally to the wall for a certain distance. Now the distance is proportional to the size of the duct. The fire app technical manual will tell you how far along you need to go. Now that you've got your second layer of wrap away from the wall penetration, the final step is to seal it up with a better Fireflex sealant. Now there are two key places we want to put it, at the interface between the wrap and the maxillite, and the interface between the wall and the maxillite. And that's the installation done. So just to recap, we've covered strapping and pinning the first layer of wrap. We've covered the wall penetration details and the second layer of wrap. The other things to look out for are our fire wrap access panels, which are included in a separate video. Go check that out. It'll give you access inside the duct for cleaning and maintenance. All of these installation details and more are included in the fire wrap technical manual, which is available on www.tfire.com.au. If you do have any follow-up questions, please feel free to email technical at tfire.com.au. Thanks guys, see you next time.